Conspiracy theories. Love them or hate them, you gotta admit, most of them are doggy doo-doo, dinosaur dungus, dingo diarrhea. They're not good. They're just people pretending to be smarter than they really are. For example, apparently people believe that uh, reptiles rule this earth. It's called the reptilian conspiracy theory. I don't really know much about it. I just know the craziest part, 12 million people believe that reptiles run this earth. I'm not stupid and I know when things are too far-fetched to be true. However, I myself am a conspiracy theorist. I'm certified, okay? And I can prove them to you. In fact, I have five conspiracy theories that I'm going to share with you today. I'm sure you were all taught in grade school that the reason why there's seasons and season changes in our Earth is because the Earth tilts. And, the, and a lot of people will tell you that this is due to gravitational pulls from other outside forces. My conspiracy theory is... It's false. Okay, I know this because I went outside, I looked at my telescope, I looked at Mars, which is apparently the closest planet to Earth, and it was way too far away. Too far. Mars is too far and too small to be making changes on us, uh, much less the sun. You look at the sun, it's kind of big, but it's mostly bright. In fact, that's where most of its mass comes from, is its light. I studied physics, I would know. However, this is not why the Earth tilts. The Earth does tilt, and that's why seasons happen. That's not why. Gravity has nothing to do with it. It's actually because of force. Listen, when we are raving at concerts and we're bouncing up and down, when we hit the floor, and when thousands of people hit the floor at the same time, it moves and shifts the Earth. So that's why the Earth tilts. It's because of concerts and raving. So if you want summer to come faster, you have to start going to concerts and bouncing up and down raving and singing along to lyrics because that will eventually tilt the earth so much that summer will happen listen i know um i know that global warming is a really controversial topic but i'm gonna make it nice and simple for you right here okay a lot of people think that the reason why the earth is warming up is because of animal agriculture they think that Animal farms are releasing greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. That's just not true. I know this because I, I, I took a chicken, because I own chickens. I took one in my room and I recorded it. It was room temperature. I, I, I left for the grocery store. I came back and I recorded the temperature again. And it, it was the same thing. It was the same thing. Nothing had changed. And this proves that chickens uh, and other animals probably do not affect the the environment at all they don't affect the temperature and my room was not warming up so i'd assume that the environment and the the world does not warm up either so i just proved that rumor about global warming wrong but that doesn't mean i don't believe in it and in fact i am really scared for my life about global warming or at least i was until i figured out that there's a solution Hear me out, a lot of people say that we have to work hard to clean up our oceans and stop uh, gasoline and random other stuff that doesn't have to do with it. Trust me, you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is move to Detroit. Now look at this. I looked up the temperature for, for Detroit and it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not very hot. It's very unwarm. It is not warm, which means we can move there do all our stuff we need to do in Detroit because the global warming has apparently and has clearly not affected Detroit. So let's just move to Detroit. It'll save us some time. And when the earth is blazing, Detroit will probably still be fine. Believe it or not, Stephen Curry is actually an eagle. Now you may think it's kind of far-fetched to be true, but it's not. Look, if you look up characteristics of an eagle, you'll see that eagles have good vision. What do you need in order to make three-pointers? Aim. And what does aim require? Good vision. Eagles are fearless and never surrender to the size or strength of its prey. Stephen Curry sees the NBA as his, as his prey. And if you didn't know, he's actually smaller than the average NBA player. He's not scared. Eagles are tenacious. Listen, in order to dribble the ball and have good handles, you have to have good grip on the ball. 
and he has tenacious grip on that ball. Eagles never eat dead things. I don't know about you, but I've never seen Steph Curry eat a dead thing, which probably confirms that he's an eagle. Eagles also prepare for training and possess vitality. These are both core strengths of Stephen Curry himself. And after all these facts, you just can't deny it. Stephen Curry is an eagle. Also, Stephen Curry is American. What else is American? An eagle. Tell you I'm yours for life. If I told you that you could put in any equation ever inside of a calculator and it could answer it instantly, would you believe me? Probably because you have a calculator. Everyone has a calculator. Calculators are on our phone. Here's a calculator right here. But I don't buy it. I look past the government and what they're trying to tell us. I think there is a tiny Mesopotamian inside of my calculator because Mesopotamians invented the calculator. In fact, Mesopotamians were really good at math. So I think there's a small hidden Mesopotamian doing the equations in my calculator that I put. If I put eight plus eight, then the Mesopotamian inside of my calculator answers it. I know it's a lot to take in after hearing five amazing conspiracy theories, but you have to start basing your life off of the truth, not things that other people tell you or the government tell you or the internet tells you. No, you have to listen to the truth and start looking and opening your eyes. The way I see it, you just have to look at mundane things and tell yourself, does this really make sense? Yeah, most of it doesn't because it's fake and you have to start searching for answers. Remember, conspiracy theorists, the world is dangerous and you have to find a new way.